right guys welcome back to another episode of Muddy River Catfishing so today we're going to test out soap bar soap I've got two I got two brands that I uh, looked up and which seems to be the most common used this is ivory and this one is zote I guess is what it's called or in Spanish zote but I don't know these are the two that popped out and so we're going to test if soap works. Now I know there's soap baits that are out there and the reason I'm not using a soap bait is because it's an altered form of soap which means it, it's been modified and uh, additives have been put into it to attract catfish. But this is just natural soap which you take a shower with or do laundry with or whatever. So we're going to put out a trot line. I've got my trot line right here ready to go. If you guys haven't seen this, uh, special thanks to um, John White, a buddy on, on Facebook. He posted how to make one of these out of PVC and it's to hold your trot line. And I'm pretty happy with it. If, if you guys want me to show you how to make one, it's really simple. I can show you in another video, let me know. But I'm going to get this uh, trot line uh, tied up and start baiting it. And what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to do a controlled test. I'm going to use these two soaps and some of my chicken liver chum bait. So I'll do one of each down the line. I've got 22 hooks. So we're just going to bait them all the way down and we'll see if the fish bite on soap or if they bite on the chum bait. And we're going to start setting it up right now. So let me get back to you guys. All right. So I got the soap cut up. The pink one cut up real nice it's real pliable and it should sit on a hook pretty well the ivory soap it's not as pliable and it's a little more brittle when I researched this the guys were uh, baking it in the oven uh, to make it more pliable but I didn't do that I think it'll still sit on a hook okay uh, they were also adding water to it and boiling it and all kinds of stuff but we're just gonna do the basic test does it catch fish or not and I've already started my trot line. You probably can't see that first hook. Maybe you can. There's that pink soap. So that's going to be my pattern. It's going to be the pink soap, the white soap, and then the chum bait, which is going to go here. bait all these that way I'm back to the pink so I'm gonna bait all these hooks it's gonna take a while so I'll go ahead and shut the camera off but you get the you get the picture I'm gonna do one of each down the line and I'll show you right before I get ready to toss it out all right guys as you can see I got it strung up little Easter colors <laughs> just in time for Easter so uh, I'm gonna drop this weight I'm gonna toss it uh, probably right there is good. Okay, so there's okay, so there's our trot line. We're testing out soap. Uh, the ivory soap is very brittle. You can see, kind of falls apart, and I'm kind of wondering how well it's going to stay on the hook. This other soap, though, it's uh, it's almost like a wax. 
So that stuff will stay on the hook quite well, and I'll show you. Very waxy. Look, see how I can even bend it as it's bending. Very, very pliable. So I don't have any doubt that this is going to stay on the hook. Now, is it going to catch fish? I guess we'll find out in a little while. So I'm going to let that trout line sit for a few hours. And we'll come back and check it and we'll see what the results are. Alright guys, so we're back. We let our trout line sit out for, I'm thinking probably about a good four hours. And uh, we just got here to see what, what if anything is on it. And it's right here. The first two hooks were a little shallow, so they're right there. But you can see the bait. It's still on there. And I guess the ivory held up okay. So we're going to work our way back and see if there's anything on there at all. Nothing, but no bear hooks either. All the baits managed to stay on so far. Okay, there's one hook that's clean, and that's the chicken liver chum bait right here. You can see that. Okay, there's another clean hook, and that would be the chicken liver chum bait again. And another clean hook, <laughs> which would be the chicken liver chum bait, which I'm surprised we haven't caught anything. And then the and then the weight. Okay, so this test tells me that they at least did hit on the chicken liver chum bait. None of the soaps are gone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change all the bait that is the chicken liver chum bait and I'm going to put a I'm going to put some shrimp on there. And I'm going to leave all the ones with the soap still and see if we get any different results. All right, so we went ahead and replaced the chicken liver chum bait with shrimp. Maybe they'll like some shrimp better. And you can see all the way down, we left the soap on. It was already there, so hadn't come off yet. Hadn't had to replace any. So that means there hadn't been any bites as of yet. So we're gonna do this now with shrimp on it. And I'm just gonna toss this out this way. All right, so we're going to let that sit for another few hours, come back and check it. Haven't given up on this test yet, so we need to at least catch one fish on something. So we'll keep going until we at least establish whether they're biting on anything. So see you in a little bit. All right, guys, so we're back at our trot line. I went ahead and left it overnight. So it's been out at least a good 12 hours with the shrimp and the soap. So we're going to see if there's anything on it. The soap is still hanging on there, which is surprising. I mean, that pink one I knew would stay. And this ivory seems to be all right. I still have shrimp on this one. All the, 
all the baits are still there so far. Okay, we got an empty hook again, and that's the shrimp right here. And all the other ones are still there. Shrimp is gone on this one. Soaps are there still. Shrimp is there. Shrimp is there. Okay, shrimp is gone on that one. Alright, so, okay, one thing's for sure, the soap stays on the hook pretty good, but we haven't been able to catch anything yet. It's been probably 24 hours that I've been doing this test. We did overnight and then four hours with the chicken liver chum bait. So, okay, what I'm going to do now, <laughs> since the soap is still on there, it hasn't come off. I'm going to rebait this again and take all the shrimp off and put cut bait on it. And so let's see if that works. So let me get some cut bait on there and I'll get back to you guys. Alright guys. <laughs> so this is my third and final try to produce something with soap. And as you can see, I put... Uh, cut bait on every third hook I can't really pull it up from where I'm at to show you the whole string but you have to take my word for it I guess but the soaps held on quite well I'm surprised with the uh, ivory anyways the other one I had then they would stay on so I'm gonna throw this out again All right, I'm going to let it sit for another few hours, and we'll come back and check it and see what the results are. All right, guys, so this is the last test of the soap bait. We've left it, I don't know how many, I think two nights already doing this test. But the final one was cut bait. So we left it overnight last night again. And looking here, you can see it still has the the soap on that one. The ivory came off of this one. So let's check this line. Cut bait's still on there. Soap is still on here. Uh, ivory. Cut bait's still on here. <laughs> Okay, the soap's held on for two days already, so that's a good sign. Cut bait's still there. Soap. got an empty hook but that's the ivory which is probably it just fell off and I feel something going on oh all right I managed to catch something okay that was on cut bait I got hit on cut bait and that was it so through this whole test We managed to get one guy interested in a piece of cut bait. So did the soap work? It didn't work in this test. 
We got one blue cat to bite on a piece of cut bait. Leave it there. We got one blue cat to bite on a piece of cut bait. And obviously all the other baits are still are still there pretty much. The ivory soap is the one that was most likely to fall off, which I can see it probably it did and I don't think it was a bite. However, because it stays on the hook so well, I can see why you would use it as a prepared bait. So if you were to modify it, melt it down, add some stuff to it, I can see how it would work as a bait. It does stay on the hook quite well. This trot line's been out here for two and a half days, and I haven't put new bait on it once, except for the the alternation between uh, shrimp and chum bait and cut bait. So. This is my test of soap and does it work uh, in this experiment it didn't uh, I've heard lots of stories that it has so you guys be the judge this is two days worth of work for you guys so as always thanks for watching and we'll see you next time